So since Raylan came home from the hospital, she's been getting antibiotics through her IV right here. So today I'm going to show how we give those uh, antibiotics to her. Start by washing her hands. Then after washing her hands, we grab the antibiotics, which are in the fridge to keep them cool. Then to start, we grab a couple supplies here. We need an alcohol swab and a saline syringe. We're going to open it up now so that when we're starting to do this process, it doesn't slow us down to open it. Start by taking off the green cap and cleaning it with alcohol for 15 seconds or thereabouts. No less than 15 seconds. Raylan, I'm sorry you're not feeling good. Okay, so we gotta flush three to seven mils of saline in. We pull back on the syringe a little bit in order to make sure we don't have any air bubbles. And then we push the air or the air out and make sure we have a good bead of saline at the top there so that we know all the air is out. Put it on, make sure it's un unclipped right here. And push in three to seven mils. I usually do five. Okay, after that, we're going to put in the antibiotic. And we found that if we elevate the antibiotic, it goes in a little bit faster. Just un unclip it right here. And it's a, it's not a gravity thing, but this somehow has pressure on it that pulls, uh, pushes the um, antibiotic through the tube. The sphere antibiotic thing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put that here. And then it goes for about an hour. We usually let it go for about an hour and a half to make sure all the antibiotic goes in. So I'll come back in an hour, hour and a half, and show the unhooking process as well. What's wrong, sweetie? What's wrong? 20 minutes later. All I did was change her diaper and then she was feeling much better. Maybe she was just upset that she was sitting in a wet diaper. It could be all it was. One hour later. Okay, it is an hour and a half later now, so it's time to uh, undo her IV. I need to wash my hands again. It's so important to wash your hands because when dealing with a pick line, uh, we're going to keep any chance of infection um, to an absolute minimum because infection going into her bloodstream like that would not be a good thing. You can see from the, the end state of the um, IV bag, bulb, whatever it's called, that it, it's deflated. And actually, it's even more deflated than you can see because this is actually just kind of air inside there. So once again, we're going to open up what we need. This time we have, in addition to a saline syringe, we also have a heparin. And we have a green stopper afterwards. And we also have another alcohol swab. So once again, I'm going to open everything up. And this time we're going to swab it before taking it off. Once again, for about 15 seconds or so. Okay. Then we're going to use the saline first. So we're going to disconnect the IV. Take off the top of the saline. Pull back some air and then push up to make sure there's no air coming out. Once again, about three to seven mils. I usually do five. After the saline, we'll use heparin. Pull back and push up so that all the air is out. We use one and a half mils of this. And we were given a 
three mils syringe of it. We just use about half of it, one and a half mils. After you disconnect that, we're going to use one of these green stoppers just to keep everything clean there until the next time we have to use it. We're all done. If you're interested in this kind of content, I encourage you to uh, check out the link in the description. Uh, I have a friend, Stephanie, in the UK who uh, has to take care of her Hickman's line all the time. So uh, she does something very similar, similar process there. So I encourage you to check her out. All right. Take care. God bless. Feeling better, Raylan?